This is a quick guide to the gravimetric functions on the Black Eagle espresso machine. There are three things I want to cover today. The first two buttons can be preset to deliver a fixed amount of liquid in the cup. The third button is a free flow button that allows you to brew anything that you want. To program a button, in the menu, go to program doses, select program doses again until it asks you to select dose. Now all of the buttons will light up and at this point you can program each of the two programmable buttons on each group head individually. Select the button you want to program and then adjust using the click wheel until you get your desired weight in the cup. At that point hit save and that button is programmed. That's all there is to it, there's no need to brew or do anything uh, additional than that. You can set each group head individually, but I don't recommend it. What I would recommend is when you've set the two buttons on one group, to go in to program doses, and then select to transfer that programming across to a different group. Now, the way a gravimetric works is it's weighing the espresso as it's brewing, and it's waiting until it reaches a specific weight to close the solenoid valve, to shut the group head off and the pump off, and to stop brewing. What's important to realize is that if it waited right until you reached your target weight, when it hit stop, there would be some overshoot. Now, the offsets are there to program the machine to cut off a little bit earlier to arrive at your desired dose. Now, what that offset is will vary. So if you brew a pretty traditional old school ristretto type shot, you'll need a pretty small offset because the flow of the espresso is pretty slow, so the amount of additional liquid that will appear in the cup after you close the valve is pretty small. If you're brewing more of a Lungo style shot, then that flow is a lot faster, which means that you'll need to shut off a little bit earlier to get to your desired weight. So typically, with Lungos, you see a higher offset, and with Ristretto style shots, you tend to see a lower offset. If you don't know what your style is, I would recommend starting with an offset of three on some of the older machines. New machines come pre-programmed with an offset of three, but you still may need to make small adjustments. If you're brewing and your machine is constantly missing the weight that you're asking for, if you're asking for a 36 gram shot, but you're always getting 37, you're always getting too much, then if it's consistent, then you need to increase your offset by a single gram. That way it'll stop a little bit earlier instead of getting to 37, it'll stop at 36. If occasionally the machine delivers an unusual amount more or less, that's a pretty good indicator that the flow for that espresso was abnormal. It might be that somebody didn't dose enough coffee into the portafilter and the whole shot has run a little bit fast. So don't immediately make a change to your offsets until you're getting a consistent miss and at that point correct by a known amount. Now in some of the older machines this function is still in Italian language, despite the fact that the machines by and large are in English language. You shouldn't need to calibrate your machines very often at all. In fact, after a year, I still didn't need to calibrate this machine. But it's important you understand how that process works. That's usually the last setting inside the program doses menu function. Once you select it, it'll ask you which group you wish to calibrate. It'll then take you into another screen where 100 is flashing. And this is a good time to explain how this function works. The machine is going to deliver what it thinks is 100 grams of liquid. You're going to weigh that 100 grams of liquid and tell the machine what it actually produced. If it produced 102 grams, then it will recalibrate itself based on that information. So don't do anything to the flashing 100. What we're going to do is scroll down until we select the group. At this point, it'll confirm that you want to perform the operation. What's important here is that you pack ground coffee in, into the portafilter as if you were gonna brew an espresso. Don't do this with just free flowing water because the machine will struggle with an unusual flow rate to be accurate. It needs the, the typical flow rate that you find when you're brewing espresso. So make sure you load your portafilter. Zero out a cup and then confirm the operation and it will start to brew. Once it's stopped, uh, take that cup and weigh it. Hopefully, you'll have about 100 grams. Uh, if you don't, you can input that new number and that will perform the calibration for that group. 
If you find one group is off, you may wish to perform a calibration on the second group. But as I said, this is an extremely rare thing to have to do. And personally, oh, this machine has not needed it uh, in over a year. If you have any questions about using the gravimetric function, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.